Welcome back everybody to another video and today's gonna be a very long video. Well, I wouldn't say very long, but it's gonna be a decently long video. I'm going to be talking about the almost all the deals this off season in the MLB and it was a really big off season. So let's get into it talking about the Carlos Correa of C the free agency of a lifetime. Let's get into it. So to start it all off, Correa signed a 13-year, $350 million deal with the Giants. Giants fans celebrating. Giants are like, we got our guy, and now next is Judge. And that's the longest, um, that's a record-long deal. It's the longest, richest deal in for a shortstop. So Dodge, uh, Dodgers fans, Dodgers fans, you know, they were a little nervous. The Giants had a little problem with the physical, I think the day as the press conference, they postponed it. And then they just said, we don't, we're not going to get you. They put him as a free agent. And then the Mets picked him up 12 year, $315 million on December 21st, which is only like a week but after, and then everything's fine. December 25th, I think, or the 24th, they started having concerns with the physical, again, with his ankle. And then today, at Science, it ruined the whole day. Correa um, and the Twins are finalizing a six-year, $200 million contract. It hurt. I mean... Two teams lost it. And now we're heading it back down to Fenway. Um, Rafael Devers, star third baseman, one of the best third basemen in baseball, is going to be back in Boston for another 11, in another 11 years, saying an 11 year, $331 million deal back with the Red Sox. I, I like the deal. Um, Xander left. They lost out on him. Now, Story has, um, is going to be having. He had a surgery, so he's going. To be, it's unpredictable how long he's going to be out. The Red Sox didn't have the best year last year, and they're looking to try and get better. But man, this is going to really help them for the next eleven years. But they lost Xander, and I'm going to get onto that too. Next, we'll go down west, talking about the Texas Rangers free agent splurge. Last year, I read that they were crazy by signing Seager and Simeon, but they just showed that they are not done. And this offseason, to start the offseason, they went out there and signed a five-year, $185 million deal with, respectively, one of the best pitchers in baseball, Jacob DeGrom. Massive deal going out to Texas. I mean, in Arlington... Now the rotation looks better. The Grom, John Gray, Martin Perez. And then they go out like a week later. Andrew Heaney, two years, $25 million, and includes an opt-out after the first year. They just showed they're going to be committed to winning. And that's not even the last deal they did on pitching um, to fix up that rotation. The last deal they did on pitching, Nathan Avaldi. Another guy the Red Sox lost, two years, $34 million deal, and it includes a third-year vesting player option. Um, it's a big deal for Nathan Avaldi, and um, he wasn't the best last year, but he's going to be going down to the Wild West, and they're going to have a really good rotation if everybody stays healthy, and I'm just going to be a little nervous for them. Hey, um, L West, watch out. Well, the Mets had a little something to say after um, the Grom went to Texas. The uh, Mets just went out there and signed two years on $86 million contract with Justin Verlander, um, two of baseball's like most historic, <laughs> I would say, old slash good Hall of Fame pitchers in baseball as Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander are going to be both in the Big Apple in the same rotation again like how in Texas. And it's going to be a really nasty rotation. But that's not the only 
addition they added to the starting rotation. Adding Kodai Senga, star pitcher from Japan. Big deal. Really, really big deal. For a guy that was at the Mets um, target almost from the start of the offseason. So I'm just reading all the deal with a five-year, $75 million contract. Um. That's a big deal in the Big Apple. Steve Cohen said, if the Grom wants to be committed to winning in Texas, we're going to be committed to winning in the Big Apple. He also went out there and signed Jose Quintana for a two-year, $26 million contract. Edwin wasn't the only big reliever to re-sign with the team he was at. There's two other ones. Robert Suarez signed with the San Diego Padres for a... Five-year, $46 million contract. And the Mets signed Adam Anamino for a very big deal for, a, for like, a middle, a middle reliever um, for a $14.5 million, $14 million for two years, which is a pretty big deal. But another big reliever signed. Nick Anderson signed with... The Braves are one year, eight hundred seventy-five thousand when he's in the majors, and one hundred eighty-five thousand if he's in the minors. Former uh, Rays reliever has potential if he's healthy. But he could be really good if he's uh, if he's healthy. Healthy, uh, but he could be really crucial. Obviously, the Giants lost a lot of guys. They were planning. They knew. Judge is probably not going to come back. So, as all the Arison Judge stuff was going on, they signed Mitch Hanniger the same night to be back in, up to be going to San Fran, leaving the Mariners. $43.5 million contract on a three year deal. They also fixed up that rotation after. Well, John left by signing Ross Shripling, two-year, $25 million contract. It includes an opt-out after the first season. And then they also signed former Met, Michael Conforto, two-year, $36 million contract. And Taylor Rogers, three-year, $33 million deal. So a lot of big moves are going to San Francisco.